<coughs> Hi guys, Park and Shipyards. Ravaya 3025, because she was designed to be 30 footer, but she's only a 24 something, so let's cheat a little bit and call her 25. Anyway, it's all about steel now, guys, and it's hard stuff. And he's lifting ladders, holy fuck, man. I mean, like, this is hard work. This is hard work, but anyway, uh, it's getting everything right is so difficult. It's so, so difficult. Um, I don't know. Somehow I do it. So here's the leather shaft. There's the blade. What's folded goes down. So, uh, I don't know, about like 25, 30 centimeters under the boat about 30 centimeters further down. Uh, water line is drawn on the blade. That's roughly where it's going to be. Maybe because it's the stern, it will be slightly lower. Maybe, I'm not sure. Because usually pros lift their stern almost out of the water. So let's just take a straight line and say, I don't know, so it's, it's not bad. Everything is just fixed to the boat temporarily. Uh, most of the screws are just junk. I might test it with junk screws because I had enough pouring money into pros and then something doesn't work and then you ditch the whole boat. That's what happened to Crystal Clear. A lot of money went into that boat and I sold it 20 times and uh, I don't know what. This goes up like that. So that's so it fo when it's folded up. The whole jazz tucks in under over there somewhere uh, somewhere at the pipe there will be another another uh, bushing that gets locked somewhere and that will be the tiller yeah so folds up like this and kicks out like that so it's all about this little piece of wire over here. When this, when, when the blade hits a lock, this snaps. When this snaps, this goes out. Onto this, gets welded now this. So the leather slides into that. That has to get cut and formed and shaped and all kinds of stuff. And there will be a pipe welded onto that going up to somewhere over here. And the whole business just slides against that pipe and dang into the place. So that's the business, guys. Welcome to Balkan Shipyards. I'm happy you're here. Uh, those who, those who, those who speak those who share their time with us are the best in the West. And uh, we believe in pros. And we believe that shunting is the future. And we don't say that shunting is the best type of vessel. No, we're not going to lie to you. Shunting is fucking shit. It's the worst thing possible. I, 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 I was crashing on rocks for about two hours until I got saved. I got pushed and then I'm with my AD skull, I went back into the blue, I got cut up. I, got, I had a very bad day because of one bad shunt. If it was attacker, it would never happen. That's shunting for you. It will kill you in a second. If you don't know how to sell and if you don't understand what the sea can do to you and how, and how Lee Shores come up very close, very far, very, very fast, Lee Shores, they creep up on you. A shunt is not for you, mate. You get a tacker. Tackers are the best in the West, man. Nothing better than a tacker, man. Oh, a mono tacker with a big fat keel that when you drive into a rock, it's the keel that hits the, the, the rock, not the ladder. The ladder just hangs off the back end, you know? I crashed into so many rocks when I came from England with baby man and my mono. I was bashing rocks all the way because I was selling half the time without GPS. I had GPS, but I wanted to learn how to navigate. I just bought a boat, got on it and left, okay? But I read books for about three or four years. I read 
how to sail and how to navigate and all kind of shit like that. It just never worked out for me. It just My life was in such a way that I wasn't lucky enough to have a dad with a boat and a, and a this and a that and I don't know what. Some people are really lucky, you know, they, they grow up on boats and stuff. And me, I was just getting late in my life and I just said, it's enough of the fucking shit, you know, man. So, like I, so, I just, so then I, I built the playground, I built the ship. And when I sold that ship, I bought, I bought a big ship playground. And with the money from that ship, I bought, I bought my first yard, baby mana. I crashed into rocks all day long. I, I crashed into all of stuff. Not, I mean, I wasn't that bad, you know, but I crashed into stuff. Yes, I did. Most of the stuff, it's a sandy bottom, and you just smash into a little sandy bottom going slowly. Nothing happens, you know. But, if, but I've crashed into locks going at six knots. The boat stops. Cups in the kitchen break, just from hitting cup against cup. Ta, ta, ta. You fly. You fly ahead on the boat, and you fall all over the place. That's the biggest mistakes I've done. I've done all kinds of mistakes. Because when you just get on a boat and go, things will happen, but at least you learn properly. Over there you can't hit your ladder. You've got a big keel and your ladder's at the back somewhere. The keel protects you. Over here, I don't mind losing the ladder itself. I don't care about the ladder because I'm going to have an 80 skull. So I've got a spare ladder. There's going to be the same thing on the other end. This boat's going to have two ladders. Lift. So the one lifts up and you sell. The other one falls down. So it's a this and a that. I don't mind losing the ladder. I don't mind bending the ladder and throwing it overboard and saying, okay, I'll buy a new one when I get somewhere. You know, go to Home Depot and say, give me a ladder for a pro. They'll give me two. They'll tell me, choose which one you want. And so, you know, and I'll just choose one. I don't mind. I'm afraid of ripping this off the boat. This is frightening. So I've come up with the best kick-up style I can. And I don't know even if it will work, but I believe it would as well. So kick up is this. Now we're kicked up. The blade is, it might still be in the water, the bottom end of it, but it's way above the lowest point of the boat. So that's all good, you know what I'm saying? That's the kick up. And then the fold away is this. So it's folded up now. So then I, uh, we, I've I got only two hands and I haven't got a tripod and like I said in an earlier video, the Balkan Shipyard's cameraman is on holidays at the Black Sea for a couple of weeks, so there's nobody filming, so the president himself has to make the films. <coughs> so anyway, you understand what's going on, eh? You understand what's going on? I mean, this, this will be here somewhere, I don't know where it will be. It's not the best in the West. I'm going to have to try and somehow chew up these guys on a diagon, on an angle, so this can fit up like that. A little bit like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm afraid of this, of a wave, a big, big wave grabbing it. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that I'm afraid of. There's a lot of stuff that I'm not sure about. Here's my mast in my yard, 7.2 meters long. But at the end of the day, guys, You don't do it, it will never bloody will happen, mate. If you got an idea, just go ahead, man. And if somebody tells you it's not going to work, then tell him, thanks, bro. I'm going to prove you wrong. Because you just decided to be... You, you just decided to give up before you even gave it a chance, you know? That's your problem, mate. It's not my problem, that's your problem. You tell me it's not going to work? Okay, let's see. All my life, people told me it's not going to work. All my life. I always went ahead and it always worked. But making it work was hell at high water. That's life, mate. That's life. Pro number four from Balkan Shipyards over a decade. Welcome. If you want to see how pros work, if you want to see how one, a, a, a way of building pros, hang out, stay with us. If you don't want to go, I just don't give a shit. Guys, the force is strong. May it be with you. Balkan shipyards. Take care.